Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Hello, everyone. My name is Katusha. I will be with you today for Russian Weekly Words. We're going to start together our first lesson, and it's very exciting. I don't know what's going to be there, and I don't know any words I'm going to teach you from now on, but um, let's have a look. Let me check. <laughs> Takes a bit long time. Uh huh. Hobbies. Увлечение. Играть на музыкальном инструменте. Play a musical instrument. Oh my childhood! I was dreaming to play piano. I always wanted to play a musical instrument. Я всегда хотела сыграть на музыкальном инструменте. We're good? Okay. Something about the play again. No, we're, we're moving to sports right now. I like watching sports. Olympic Games, I'm waiting for it. Катание на коньках. Ice skating. Uh, recently Japan is getting very strong in it, but of course Russia. To glide on skates, I would say, if we translate it like from word to word, we're ice skating. Мы Катаемся на коньках. Let's go ice skating tonight. On our sleepy iPad. Рисовать. Hmm, draw. Can you draw? I can draw a little bit on the napkin when I'm in a cafe or something like that in a very artistic way of drawing. I would like to draw something. Я бы хотела что-нибудь нарисовать. Я бы хотела что-нибудь нарисовать. Would you like to draw something? Next one, maybe guys will be interested in. Рыбачить. Fishing, right? Why not? It's summer, the weather is great. We can just go outside, pull a tent out and just stay and go to the river and do fishing and fish, fish, fish. <laughs> we can cook the fish later. Рыбачить is a verb and the noun is рыба, fish. I go fishing from now on. Прямо сейчас. Я иду рыбачить. You got it? The next one is my favorite. Танец. It's dancing. To dance, to dance. Танцевать. Dance, to dance. Let's go to club to dance. Yay! Пошли в клуб танцевать. Outside in the parking, do some break dancing. Next time you can do some cool movements. You can say it in Russian. Танцевать. I like dancing. Я люблю танцевать. Oh no! It says the end. For now, it's just the first lesson is over. Nice talking to you. Okay, I'll see you next time. It was Katusha with you. Bye! It's like tiger, you know, like lion. Remember me? I'm Katusha from Russian Weekly Words and hello again to you. I missed you. So let's have a look what today's theme is going to be about. Ta-da! Something you will really enjoy in summer. Фрукты. Mmm, fruits. Я обожаю фрукты. I love fruits. Апельсин. <laughs> You're never gonna guess what it is in English. Can you? Well, it's orange. Я бы хотела съесть апельсин на утро. I would love to have orange this morning. Juicy, juicy orange. Oh my god, I'm getting hungry. Arbuz. <laughs> it's watermelon. I know it's very juicy and it's perfect for summer. My дети обожают арбуз. My children love watermelon. Banan. Banana. Обезьяны на пальмах едят бананы. Monkeys on the trees eat bananas. Я добавляю банан в йогурт. I add banan to yogurt. No. Banana, just banan. Okay, next word is in June. It's very popular, I think. So it's vishnya. It's cherry. Cherry. I used to climb cherry trees when I was a kid. Eat dirty cherries. Mm, I need a cherry juice right now. Мне нужен вишневый сок прямо сейчас. Okay, anyone bringing me cherry juice? No. I knew it. Клубника. Strawberry. Uh, waiter, 
Can I have a strawberry with champagne, please? Um, можно мне клубнику с шампанским, пожалуйста? I love strawberry too. The end! Unbelievable. So, we're done with fruits for today. Фрукты. Uh, so, I hope next time we can, uh, we can talk about some vegetables as well. Okay, so I'll see you some other time. It was nice talking to you. Bye! Hello everyone! And it's me, Katusha. Today you are watching us Russian Weekly Words. Welcome! If you watch it for the first time, I have no idea about what it is. We're gonna find out together right now. Oh, the topic is... Where I am now? Комната. Room. Ванная. Ванная is very useful because it's a bathroom. Ванна is a place where you actually take a bath. In Russia, for example, the bathroom can be only for the bath, and the toilet is only for the toilet. It's, it can be separated. Yeah, because it was built in Soviet Union times, it's like, together or not, you can still call it ванная. Я иду в ванную. I go to the bathroom. And the next room we have is гостиная. Living room. Гостиная is coming. It has a meaning, like, it's connected with the guests living because you live in there but in russia is more like you you invite friends and guests into that room приходите ко мне в гости в гостиную come to my place to the living room so the next word is кухня kitchen kitchen кухня is very useful place uh, я занимаюсь йогой у себя на кухне i do yoga in my kitchen next word is спальня Спальня is bedroom. To sleep in Russian is спать. Не заходи ко мне в спальню. Don't enter my bedroom. Спальня. Ah, it's столовая. Dining room. Столовая is cold because we have стол. And стол is a table. Like, more like dining table in Russian. Я люблю смотреть телеви телевизор в столовой. I like watching TV in my... Uh, Dining room. <laughs> Too many rooms, I'm getting confused. And this is the end of the room. Nice! And I hope I was useful for you today, so I'll see you some other time in my other lesson. Bye! Are you ready, everyone? This is Katusha with Russian Weekly Words. And let's figure out what are the next words we're going to learn today. And go! Colors. I love this theme. Very nice theme. Colors in Russian is цвета. Be careful because flowers in Russian is цветы, but colors is цвета. So the first color is белый. Белый. I don't have it right now, but maybe you do. Белый, white. We can see in many, many places around us. Мой холодильник белый. My fridge is white. <laughs> Here we go, next color. Ta-da! Zelony. Green. When you go to the nature, everything is green, right? Лес такой зелёный. The forest is so green. In Russian it sounds very strange. Red. Красный. Красный – это мой любимый цвет. Red is my favorite color, as you can see. Some red boots, red socks, red hat. Whew, the colors that suits everyone. Черный. Black. Man in black. Черный. So, um, if you want to look cool, you can always wear black. Я люблю одеваться в черное. I like to wear black. Я люблю одеваться в черное. I like to wear black. Oh, that's a cute one. The favorite girl's color. Розовый. Pink. Pink. We all see the world through the pink glasses. Мы смотрим на мир в розовых очках. I mean, we want to be optimistic, so... Pink, pink is a good color, but don't overdo it, I guess. The end! Oh no, well, I hope you mix your colors, цвета, very well, and you look great. Just choose your own style and go with it. And I'll see you next time in my lessons, okay? See you, bye! Hello you! Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katya. Or Katusha, you may say, makes me feel better. So, welcome! 
Today we're gonna learn about uh, I have no idea what about. So let's have a look. Hmm. Months of the year. Месяц года. Number one is I don't know why we start with July. It's not actually the first month of the year. It's a nice month too. So июль. The heat, the sun, the holidays. So поехали на море в июле. Let's go to the sea in July. And it's gonna be? Hmm, it's my. My. May. My, May. Oh my, oh May. Some flowers start to bloom. Let's go to the zoo in May. Пошли в зоопарк в мае. Let's go to the zoo. Пошли в зоопарк. Next year in May we're going to the zoo. Next month is? Сентябрь. September. Сентябрь. Сентябрь. September. Я пойду в школу в сентябре. I will go to school in September. This is how we start like in uh, Russian, post-Soviet Union countries. It's kind of a uh, month, so yeah. Сентябрь. Next month is gonna be... It's my month! And the first month of the year... Январь. January. Январь – первый месяц года. January is the first month of the year. My birthday in, in January. Next month is Mart. It's funny, March. You say CH in the end, but somehow in Russian is T in the end. В марте еще холодно. It's still chilly in March. Next word is... Oh my god, we had only half of the year. So it's the end. And hope to see you next time. Bye. Hi there and welcome to Russian Weekly Words. With me again, Katusha, and let's have a look what kind of uh, topic we're going to be talking about today. Because just like you, I have no idea, so um, let's have a look. And today is... Uh, hmm, it's very common topic. So it's uh, pagoda, weather. Hmm, I wonder what kind of weather we're going to have today. Dozd, rain. So it's... Rainy, дождливо. Tomorrow is gonna be rainy. Завтра будет дождливо. Good luck with Z is a B, but instead of Z, you just say Z. Yeah, try that. Облачный, cloudy. Облако is a cloud. Today is cloudy. Сегодня облачно. And uh, we're moving to снег. Snow, снег. Snowy, идет снег. In January it snows a lot. В январе часто идет снег. I want it to snow. Я хочу, чтобы пошел снег. Or any other months of the year you can put, you just learned in the previous uh, session. So um, you can mix them together and you can already have a conversation. Oh my god. So the uh, next word is uh, солнечный. Sunny! I always want it to be sunny. Я всегда хочу, чтобы было солнечно. Um, okay, next word. I hope it's not stormy. Ясное небо. Clear sky. Clear is ясное. Sky is небо. It's a clear sky today. Сегодня ясное небо. Well, usually we don't say it because it sounds ridiculous. I mean, you just don't go out and say, Oh my God, сегодня ясное небо. <laughs> you just say it's sunny, it's such a nice weather, right? Солнечно, feels so good and positive. <laughs> well, but it's good to know. Ясно can also be something clear, right, in English. So when somebody asks you a question, you can say, Hmm, ясно. It's like, oh. Okay, got it. So, we're done with the weather for today. And please play it again and again. So, maybe you can uh, remember or hear it better or maybe understand better. When Next time when you sit next to the Russian and they discuss the weather in a smart um, way, you can understand a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Good luck and see you next time in the next Russian Weekly Words. Bye. Hi, everyone. And welcome to Russian Weekly Words again with me, Katya or Katusha. And um, today's topic is... Ta-da! Flavors. Wow. 
What a delicious topic. Mmm, flavors. Вкусы. Вкусы. Aha, here we go to flavors. Горький. Bitter. It's not the best flavor to start with, right? I mean, <laughs> ginger ale is a bit bitter. Ginger ale, немного горький. My life is bitter. <laughs> Моя жизнь горька. So, next word is uh, kisly. Sour. <laughs> Sometimes when somebody is not happy, we can say you look sour. In Russian, it sounds like что это за кислое лицо? What, like, you have a sour face. So, uh, which means somebody's like, mm, not happy. So, um, uh, it, it's not offensive. It's just somebody's not in a mood. So, you can use that. Lemon is sour, right? Limon kisly, which is, yeah, very obvious thing. Ostry. Spicy. Mm. We're just talking uh, about kimchi for lunch. <laughs> Do you like kimchi? Я люблю kimchi на lunch, потому что он очень острый. It's really spicy. That's why I like kimchi for lunch. Do you like spicy food? Тебе нравится острая еда? Spicy. Острый. Finally, my favorite flavor is sweet. That's sweet. Сладкий. I love everything sweet. Мне нравится все сладкое. I prefer like really homemade sweets. You know this kind of donuts like that look like dry bread. It's called bubliki. When I was a kid, you can like you can have it with tea, enjoy hot tea with bubliki. In Soviet Union times, we had limited amount of things that could be cooked or presented to people. Candies could be like really like a big treat for kids. But um, nowadays, of course, we have all sorts of things we can choose from, like abroad or like other brands. So, yeah, I guess candies is a thing. We had many, many candies when I was a kid. Like you, you get it for New Year's Eve, like a present. You could hang it on a Christmas tree and just pick it up from there, like apples, you know. Cool memories. Oh, salony, salty. Uh, salt is sol, that's why um, salony, it's kind of similar, sol, salony. Do you like it salty? Ты любишь солёное? Like sometimes pickles, you know. My grandma used to make some pickles and we would just always have it like with uh, mashed potatoes or something as a side dish. Oh no, it's... Finish again! No more flavors, but there's so many flavors to talk about. Talk to you later. Пока, пока. Bye. Привет! Hi everyone! And welcome to Russian Weekly Words with uh, me, Katyusha. <laughs> so I wonder what kind of topic we're gonna be learning today. So let's have a look. Овощи. Vegetables. You should uh, eat healthy. So the first word will be... Картофель. Potato. So, you'll be surprised, but I think this word is coming from German language. Kartoffel. Would you like some potatoes? Вы бы хотели картофель? You cannot say like kartoffel when you like in the restaurant. Kartoffel is just a vegetable. Already made it cooked or fried or something. You say uh, kartoshka. <laughs> it's kind of funny. There was like a Russian animation with a red hair guy, a boy. Uh, with all these uh, freckles, he would also always sing a song saying um, Antoshka, Antoshka, pašli kapat kartošku. Antoshka, Antoshka, let's go dig some uh, potatoes. <laughs> Sorry, it was just my um, memories of my childhood. So the other vegetable is um, look, onion, look. Я всегда плачу, когда режу look. I always cry when I cut onion. <laughs> One trick I know, like if you don't want to cry when you cut onion, you have to put your knife under water and like keep doing it so the juice doesn't kind of get into the air or something. I don't know how it works, but it seems to work. Next vegetable is uh, markov, carrot. I used to love uh, carrot juice when I was a kid. Я любила морковный сок, когда я была маленькая. 
carriages, you might think, oh my god, must be disgusting. That is actually, it was really good. Okay, next vegetable is chestnut, garlic. Mm. When I was a kid, my grandma used to make a toast of a kind of a dark bread. And then you take the garlic and like scratch all over the bread and put some salt on top of it. It was really good, but like a lot of garlic, but it's so good. Oh my god. But yeah, anyway, garlic is good for your health. Uh, чеснок полезен для здоровья. Okay, next vegetable is шпинат. Шпинат. Spinach. Papai always eats spinach. Papai всегда ест шпинат. Right? If you watch animation, you know what I'm talking about. The end! So I'll see you next time with another session of Russian Weekly Words. Пока, пока. Hello again, and it's me, Katusha, with you for Russian Weekly Words and to learn some words in Russian. So I hope you're excited and I wonder what our topic and theme is going to be about today. So let's have a look. As always, jobs. Работа. What kind of job can you do? There's so many. Oh my god. So the first job is engineer. Engineer. Okay. Engineer. You know what's engineer, right? So engineer, which is very similar in pronunciation. Мой папа работает инженером. My father is an engineer. Uh, in English, it's kind of simple because you just say is, which specifies what kind of job a person does. But in Russian, you have to say work. So what kind of, what, what exactly he does, what work he does. So it's работает. So the next job is медсестра. It's a nurse. Literally, сестра is a sister. It's interesting that we say uh, sister and brother, actually. In the hospital, there are sisters and brothers, like medical sisters and medical brothers. For women, you say медсестра, and for guys, you say медбрат. Funny. <laughs> My sister is a nurse. Моя сестра работает медсестрой. Программист, программер. There are many, many good programmers in Russia. I would like to be a programmer. Я хотела бы быть программистом. For girls or for guys, it doesn't matter, it's always a программист. Профессор. Professor. Would you like to be a professor? Ты хотел бы быть профессором? Professor, professor, very similar, so easy to remember for you. Next word is домохозяйка. Housewife. It's interesting that they use it as a job. I guess it's pretty hard job too. So, домохозяйка. I would never think I could be a housewife. Никогда бы не подумала, что я могу быть домохозяйкой. To me, I'm not sure. I would rather choose something else. More exciting, maybe. Involving meeting other people. Probably like you, you and you and you and you watching me. <laughs> This is the end to our topic today. That was jobs. And so I hope next time we will also talk some about new, nice, useful words. Uh, next time you have a trip to Moscow or somewhere else you can use. So see you later and пока пока. Привет всем! Hi everyone and welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Nice to meet you if you're watching me for the first time. And I should tell you that I have no idea what kind of words we're gonna be checking out today. So. I'm gonna check it out now and follow my finger. Ta da! Blah. Today's topic is gonna be in the classroom. In the classroom. If you say it in Russian, it's gonna be в классе. Ta da! Lastic. Eraser. Well, you can also say резинка. Lastic. Резинка. Both of them are erasers, so you can choose which one you prefer and which one feels better in your mouth to say. The example is gonna be, can you give me eraser? Дай мне, пожалуйста, ластик. Дай мне, пожалуйста, резинку. Домашняя работа. Homework. Oh my god, we hate homework. Домашняя работа. Я забыла про домашнюю работу. 
I forgot about homework. Happens because we really want to forget about it. Oh, I had a fever or usually my excuse was like I had the dancing classes. So I just skipped a dance class and I'll skip the lesson completely so I don't have any homework. Of course, it didn't work out because even if you skip your lesson, you still have to do your homework. But anyway, I wasn't a very good student in the class. So you must be so happy I'm teaching you some Russian words, right? <laughs> Daska, blackboard. Blackboard, that's come. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when you didn't do your homework and the teacher asks you to come to Blackboard and write <laughs> something on it <laughs> that you simply didn't remember or you forgot to do. Katyusha, come to the Blackboard. <laughs> Katyusha, подойди к доске. I hope your name is not Katyusha. <laughs> okay, the next word is учебник, uh, textbook. Учебник. Do you wrap your textbooks? Because I remember uh, we didn't have like proper covers for textbooks in uh, Soviet Union times, so we were using newspaper <laughs> or other wrapping paper to to wrap our textbooks nicely. Заверните ваш учебник. Wrap your textbook. Don't use toilet paper to wrap your textbooks. Не используйте туалетную бумагу, чтобы завернуть ваш учебник. What a ridiculous example. Victorina, quiz. Do you do any quiz in the classroom? That sounds fun. Uh, I didn't have this opportunity, but I'll try to make an example. Be ready for tomorrow because we will have a quiz. Uh, будьте готовы на завтра, потому что у нас будет викторина. Викторина. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, I hope you don't have many quizzes. Follow me for the next session and uh, I hope we can learn some nice Russian words together. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Пока пока. We were supposed to have like notebook and to, to make like a red uh, line on the edge of it and write only in the middle of this notebook. I guess it's too much information. <sighs> Hi everyone. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katisha. I hope we can remember some nice Russian words today that can be helpful for you in your future or your life. Let's have a look what kind of topic we're gonna have today. And it's gonna be... Exciting one! At the office! Are you at the office right now? Вы сейчас в офисе? Office. Office. Коллега. Coworker. Коллега. As in English, it can be a uh, female or male, so anyone. У меня в офисе 30 коллег. I have 30 co-workers in my office. The next word is рабочий стол. Desk. <laughs> Desk is рабочий стол. Well, if you literally translate, it's рабочий is working and стол is table or desk. So it's working desk. Рабочий стол. Боже, какой у меня кошмар на рабочем столе. What a mess on my desk. Oh my god. <laughs> Now, next word is телефон. Телефон. Or phone. Телефон. You don't even need to translate. Телефон. Где твой телефон? Where is your phone? Where is your телефон? Дай мне свой телефон. Give me your phone. Not this one, but actually a phone number. Give me your phone number. Дай мне свой телефон. Like all these digits, number digits, you can say it's телефон, so... Next one is... Fax. It's fax. <laughs> fax. Yes. Same, easy to remember. You don't really have to bother remembering. Very easy. It's just a pronunciation a little bit like from... Maybe you say fax in English and fax in Russian, like really a, uh, a yeah, very strong one. Don't forget to emphasize, I want to send fax to you. <laughs> Я хочу послать тебе fax. <laughs> yeah, great. Next word is документ. Document. Kind of easy, right? Документ. Document. Instead of o, we more say like a e uh, in Russian, so документ. Куда я положила этот документ? Where did I put this document? Did you see? No, because it's the end. And uh, I hope we meet you for our next sessions. 
of Russian weekly words and I hope it was helpful for you to remember a few nice words that are not similar to English and um, hope to see you next time. Пока -пока. Hmm, have to listen to your boss. Next word is boss. <laughs> Welcome to Russian Weekly Words and with me Katusha and a new topic for today. I'm very excited to see what it's gonna be. How about you? Yeah, I can see you like, yeah, tell us, tell us. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Today's topic is your face. Твое лицо. Or my face. Моё лицо. Well, we can talk about our faces. They're basically similar, same things we all have. So let's have a look at the first word. First word is, it's глаз. Eye. Глаз. Глаза. Посмотри мне в глаза. Look into my eyes. Next word is... Нос. Nose. Нос. Не ковыряйся в носу. Don't poke your nose. You naughty. Next word is... Рот. Mouth. Рот. Which we have one, so it's okay to say рот. So, if you're the doctor or a dentist, he will tell you probably to open your mouth. Откройте рот. Open your mouth. Next word is ухо. Ear. Ухо. Two ears is уши. Уши. I want to tell you something into your ear. Я хочу тебе сказать что-нибудь на ухо. And next word is губа. It's a bit lonely because we have two lips. So, uh, губа. Lip. Two lips is губы. Губы. Gubi. Try to say it, okay? When we meet, we don't kiss on the lips. При встрече мы не целуемся в губы. Yeah, well, when we meet, it's mostly on the cheek. So, um, you can kiss once or twice, or it depends how friendly you are with your friend. Even if you don't know the person well, still, you kiss once on the cheek. So, there is nothing special about it. Don't imagine anything. Okay, now we're done with our face. So maybe you can just go to the mirror and try and repeat and touch yourself and say in Russian what kind of eyes or nose you have. Okay? Good luck and hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. It's not crazy. It's just me. Katusha. Привет всем. Hello everyone. And it's me, Katusha, with you and Russian Weekly Words. Let's have a look at today's topic. Hopefully I can help you. Let's have a look. And today's topic, as always, is very exciting. Mebel. Furniture. I love to move furniture. That's what I did when I was bored. It brings kind of fresh energy, you know? How can you live without furniture? Like right now, I'm sitting on this stool. Chair. Stool. Я сижу на стуле. I'm sitting on the chair. Now you try. What is it on? What? What? Stool, right. Okay, next word is кровать. Maybe you're sitting on the bed. Кровать. Я не хочу вставать с кровати. I don't want to get out of the bed. Я не хочу. Кровать. Nice, soft, warm bed. And I'm sitting on the chair. Next word is книжная полка. Bookshelf. Have you ever tried sleeping in the bookshelf? I'm sure the answer is no. У меня нет книжных полок. I don't have any bookshelves. It's because I'm usually storing books and magazines on the floor. Книжная полка. Полка. Sounds like a Polish dance. Полька. Okay, next word is диван. Sofa. Диван. Пожалуйста, присаживайтесь на диван. Please, have a seat on the sofa. Oh, I'm such a nice host. Yeah. Комод. Dresser. Комод, which is not very popular. It's more like like grandma's thing or like heavy French uh, antique stuff. I, I don't know. Russian image, комод is something like that comes from your grandmother. <laughs> you, your family kept probably dark wood or like lacquered and like something really bang heavy. When you have Ikea and комод, you're thinking, maybe I go for Ikea, you know. Я бы хотела продать свой комод. I would like to sell my 
dresser. Or, я бы хотела переделать свой комод. I would like to redo my dresser. Could be also exciting. Make it pink. And the next word is the end. Unfortunately, I have to say пока пока to you, but I hope I will see you next time with me and Russian Weekly Words. Bye bye. Привет. Hello. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. And today's topic is going to be. Let's have a look. Mleka pitaushe. Mammals. Mleka pitaushe. If you say mleka, means that something is connected with the milk. Malako. Pitaushe means to eat something to get some food. <laughs> so they all kind of grow up uh, with uh, their mom's milk. So mleka pitaushe. And the first word, the first mammal is kaza, goat. It's funny that uh, in English goat is more like male goat, right? And in Russian kaza is a uh, female. When you think about image, it's mostly female, and we have many uh, fairy tales about uh, kaza that's giving milk. She's kind and sweet and kind of jumping all around. Я люблю козье молоко. I like goat milk. Uh, actually, yeah, my grandma made me drink hot goat milk, which was awful. The next word is кошка. Cat. Кошка. It's a female one, and the male one will be кот. Very short. Кот. Cat, кот. Я очень люблю кошек. I really like cats. Next word is мышь. Mouse. Mish. Maybe it's a bit difficult to pronounce it. Try again. Mish. It's like, Ugh. it's like you have to make a big smile like this and then like try to giggle. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that was my biggest smile. If you want to say it in a cute way, you can say Mushka. And I think I mentioned it in a previous topic when we we're talking about computer things. So yeah, Mushka. Oh my god, oh my god, what is it? It's a mouse. Боже, это мышь. Sorry, I cannot speak. Олень. Deer. Олень. In Russian, it starts with O, but you kind of say more in A way. Олень. Я видела оленя в лесу. I saw deer in the forest. They have like really cute butt, like white butt in the shape of a heart, right? So cute. Okay, the next word is свинья. Pig. A fancy word. Well, we love animals. I love animals. Somebody who doesn't eat nicely at the table, like uh, all the food is flowing uh, in all the directions, you know, you can say he's eating like a pig. <laughs> oh, if you don't want to be called a pig or be careful how you eat, but this is end and uh, I hope next topic will be also funny. And we learn some not only good words, but also some bad words. So you know how to speak up for yourself in Russian. What's my favorite mammal? Oh, it is actually Loshet. Horse. So powerful, so beautiful, amazing, and so smart. Just like me. Пока -пока. Hi everyone, welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Привет всем! Let's have a look what kind of topic we're going to be talking about today and trying to remember it in Russian. Oh my god, so exciting! Ta-da! Cooking. Cooking. Culinaria. Culinaria. Yes, some nice sweet pie cooking. Okay, the first word is ingredient. 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 Ingredient? Ingredient. I wonder which one is Russian, which one in English. <laughs> For making piroshki, you will need uh, many different ingredients. Чтобы приготовить пирожки, вам нужны разные ингредиенты. Okay, пирожки. Have you tried cooking пирожки? Should be good with potato. Yay! <laughs> now, next word is масло для готовки. Cooking oil. Ты купил мне масло для приготовления пирожков? Did you get me uh, oil for cooking пирожки? Did you? Did you not? Did you get? No? 
go get it. <laughs> now, next word, микроволновая печь, microwave. Микроволновая means microwave, and печь is where you put your things inside to cook. In Russia, in old times, uh, we had like cooking uh, stove where like you have to make a fire and then you put bread under to bake it. Like it looked big like this, it would warm up your house. So basically it was like heater and microwave and stove, uh, like three in one. We don't have this anymore. What's happened to my voice? I would love to get a microwave. Я бы хотела приобрести микроволновую печь. To make it short, we usually say микроволновка. Соль. Salt. Соль. In the end, it's kind of L becomes really soft, like from L becomes L. Соль. Don't push too much salt. Не пересоли. Some people don't really know because they put too much salt, right? And then you just cannot eat it, but you're trying to be polite, especially at somebody's house, like, you cannot say no, so like, oh, no. Now, next word is шашлык. 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 Okay, doing good? Okay. Let's go to have barbecue in the forest next week. Пошли на шашлыки в лес на следующей неделе. So, yeah, we can have barbecues anywhere. We don't have to, like, specifically rent a place. You can just go to forest, to any lake, and just enjoy your barbecue any way you want. And we're done! No way! But I'm gonna join you for the next session, so keep in touch. Пока-пока! Hello there, and welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katyusha. Today we're gonna be talking about something, I don't know what, so I'm inviting you to check it out with me. So, follow my finger and plants. Растения. Очень люблю растения. I really like plants. Дерево. Tree. Я бы хотела посадить несколько деревьев. I would love to plant few trees. Next word is list. Leaf. На дороге много листьев. There are many leaves on the ground. Next word is... Hmm... What, what am I seeing? Am I seeing right? Okay, in English it was a bit strange. It's weed. In Russian we can also say сорняк. Well, these plants that grow where you don't want it to grow, so you have to get rid of it and take it away. Моя бабушка выдергивала сорняки целый день. My grandmother's been picking weed all day. My grandmother been picking the weed all day. Let me change to another word. Цветок. Flower. Мои друзья подарили мне много цветов на мой день рождения. My friends got me a lot of flowers on my birthday. Nice. Your lucky girl. We're done with plans for today. Now go get yourself some flowers. And I'll see you for the next session. Пока-пока. Привет, как дела? Welcome to Russian Weekly Words. My name is Katisha. Today we need to find out what kind of topic we're going to be talking about. So let's have a look. My great iPad tells me that the topic today is continents. Континенты. Люди живут на разных континентах. People live on different continents. Азия. Asia. А, я бы хотела работать в Азии. I would love to work in Asia. Африка. Африка. Поехали в Африку посмотреть на диких животных. Let's go to Africa to see some wild animals. Европа. Europe. Я часто езжу в Европу. По бизнесу. I often go to Europe on my business trip. Северная Америка. North America. Мой друг ездил в Северную Америку в прошлом году. My friend went to North America last year. Ближний и Средний Восток. In English, it's the Middle East. In Russian, it's more like the closest Middle East. That's how it sounds in Russian, if I say literally. Я никогда не была 
на Ближнем и Среднем Востоке. I have never been to the Middle East. <laughs> yes, let's go there. Now, the next word is uh, the end. Uh, have you ever been to the end? I've never heard about this continent before. Oh, it's the end. Now we're gonna deal with it and we're gonna meet you again next time for some other Russian weekly word sessions. Пока -пока. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Russian Weekly Words and me, Katusha. Today we're gonna be discussing some interesting topics, some amazing Russian you have to remember and learn with me. Personalities, личности. Личность is person, your unique character, right? Внутри тебя может быть несколько личностей. They could be a few personalities inside you. <laughs> Sounds like schizophrenia. Вежливый, polite. Извините, вы бы не могли мне передать этот помидор? Excuse me, would you be so kind to pass this tomato to me? Властный, overbearing. Отдай мне эту игрушку, это моё, это моё, это моё, это моё, это моё. Give this toy to me, it's my toy. And this one is mine, and this one is mine. Энергичный. Lively. Здесь очень энергичная атмосфера. This atmosphere here is very lively. Горделивый. Proud. Я так горд, что мои дети поступили в университет. Очень горд. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my children entered the university. Надоедливый. Annoying. You can also say um, раздраженный. Эта муха очень надоедливая. This fly is really annoying. Well, I would love to talk about more personalities, like happy. I'm a happy person. Yeah, it's the end. Yeah. See you next time. Hi there. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words. Today, me, Katusha, will uh, mention some Russian words to you, and I hope you can repeat after me, or at least try and remember some. Now, let's have a look. What topic we will have today? Post office. Почта. Actually, почта can uh, be not only post office, but all these letters and parcels, like and cards and things you want to send, can be called почта. Ты бы не могла сходить на почту за меня. Could you go to post office for me? Oh, it's very important, and it's address. Address. Мне нужен адрес написать на конверте. I need an address to write on the envelope. Конверт. Envelope. Мне нужно несколько конвертов. I need to get few envelopes. Письмо. Letter. Maybe you remember we mentioned about письменный стол, like a desk, like a writing table, to write letters. So, письмо. Я бы хотела написать письмо другу в Северную Америку. I would like to write a letter to my friend in North America. I hope you still write letters. It's really nice to get like real one, not email, but a nice card or letter. Посылка. Parcel. Я часто отправляю посылки моим родителям. I often send parcels to my parents. It's coming from посылать, to send. Почтовая марка. Stamp. Я собираю почтовые марки. I collect stamps. Actually, stamp is марка, but because it's something you put on a letter to send, we add adjective почтовая. No, it's the end again. I think uh, the word you really remember very well is the end. Maybe I should also translate it into Russian. Конец. This is the end, but not the end, so I hope I'll see you in some other time with Russian Weekly Words in other sessions. So, пока, пока Hello, welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. As always, I have no idea what kind of topic we're going to be talking about today. Let's have a look and check it out and see if we can pronounce it correctly. And our topic is... Tableware. Столовые приборы. Посуда. Dish. Посуда. My brother has to clean dishes. 
Мой брат должен помыть посуду. Тарелка. Плейт. Тарелка. Я разбила свою тарелку. I broke my plate. Чашка. Cup. I would love to have a cup with the picture. Я бы хотела чашку с фотографией. But чашка is a cup with a handle. So if there is no handle in Russian, it's a different word. Yeah, so I think чашка is more like a mug. Бокал для вина. Wine glass. Бокал для вина. Glass for wine. There are many different glasses for wine. Существуют разные бокалы для вина. Заварочный чайник. Teapot. Заварочный чайник. I got a teapot as a Christmas present. Я получила заварочный чайник в подарок на Рождество. Tea in Russia is чай. Конец. It's the end. But again, I hope I will see you some other time with me in Russian weekly words. Пока -пока. Oh, hi! Welcome to Russian weekly words with me, Katusha. And the topic is clothes. Одежда. Одежда. Я всегда хочу больше и больше одежды. Платье. Dress. Платье. Well, there are nice dresses on sale. На распродаже много отличных платьев. Платье. <laughs> Рубашка. Shirt. Рубашка. My man needs a new shirt. Моему мужчине нужна новая рубашка. Свитер. Sweater. Свитер. Скоро мы пойдем кататься на лыжах, и мне нужно несколько свитеров. Soon we're gonna go skiing, so I'll need some new sweaters. Шляпа. Hat. Шляпа. Where's my hat? Где моя шляпа? Джинсы. Jeans. Джинсы. I wear jeans every day. Я ношу джинсы каждый день. Конец. Is this is the end? So I hope we'll see you some other time for some other random words in Russian. Keep in touch. Пока, пока. Мои штаны порвались, когда я убегал от собаки. My pet is stuck. Today's topic is no topic. I can teach you anything. Ask me. Ask me. I can teach you anything. Hi there. Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Now, let's have a look what kind of topic we're going to be talking about today. I have no idea which words we will discuss and try to say in Russian. So, aren't you excited? Let's check it out. Now, the topic is clothing accessories. Uh, Accessuari для одежды. Now, let's check out the first word. The first word is umbrella. <laughs> so, the first word is зонтик. Umbrella. I forgot my umbrella in the office. Я забыла свой зонтик в офисе. Я забыла свой зонтик в офисе. Ожерелье. Ожерелье. Necklace. Сегодня я без ожерелья. Сегодня я без ожерелья. I don't have my necklace today. Очки. Glasses. Очки. Glasses. I would love to get new glasses to match my style. Я бы хотела приобрести новые очки под мой стиль. Я бы хотела приобрести новые очки под мой стиль. Перчатка. Глав. So one is перчатка and two is перчатки. Перчатки. I need new gloves for autumn. Мне нужны Новые перчатки на осень. Мне нужны новые перчатки на осень. Шарф. Скарф. Шарф. Шарф. Окей. Okay. Could you say it? Шарф. Окей. Okay. Good job. My scarf 
was blown away with the wind. Мой шарф улетел от ветра. The end. The end of clothing accessories. I'm sure there are millions of other accessories you probably make or create. But yeah, today I learned my lesson and from now on the umbrella is gonna be my accessory. I'll try to make it look cool. And I'll see you some other time with some Russian words, some random Russian words and me Katisha. Пока пока. Ремень. Belt. Привет! Welcome to Russian Weekly Words. Katusha. Now we're gonna find out some random Russian words. I actually have no idea which one, so we will check it together. Bigatovi. Now the topic is gonna be drinks. Napitki. Drinks. Now let's see what kind of words we're gonna be talking about. So the first word is Gazirovane vada. Soda. Gazirovane vada. Gaz is gas in Russian. Anyway, the gas, it's a gas water. Gazirovane vada. Can I have a soda, please? Можно мне газированную воду? Actually, it's too long. You don't say. You say gazirovka. Like, usually kids would say gazirovka. Can I have soda? Можно мне gazirovku? Кофе. Coffee. In English it's coffee, but in Russian it's кофе. So I would love to a cup of coffee. Я бы хотела чашечку кофе. Я бы хотела чашечку кофе. Молоко. Milk. Молоко. I drink milk every morning. Я пью молоко каждое утро. Liar. Пиво. Beer. Пиво. It's so hot. I would love a glass of beer. Так жарко. Я бы хотел стакан пива. A glass of beer. Стакан пива. And now the next drink is... I wonder if it's gonna be vodka. <laughs> Фруктовый сок. <laughs> fruit juice. Fruit juice? Who drinks fruit juice in Russia? Фруктовый is of course fruit. And juice is sock. Kids drink fruit juice near the pool. Дети пьют фруктовый сок у бассейна. Дети пьют фруктовый сок у бассейна. Yes, this is the end to vodka and soda and uh, coffee and coke. So we're moving to the next topic. So watch me later. Пока пока. Катиша. Hi everyone! Привет всем! Welcome to Russian Weekly Words and me, Katusha. The topic will be the food. Еда. The first word will be говядина. What a great word! Beef. Говядина. I don't eat beef. Я не ем говядину. I love beef. Я обожаю говядину. Торт. Cake. Торт. If you want to make it sound cuter, you should say тортик, тортик. Let's get some cake for dinner. Давай купим тортик на ужин. Хлеб. Bread. Хлеб. I eat a lot of bread. Я ем много хлеба. Я ем много хлеба. Море продукты. Seafood. I would love to go to Japan. To eat seafood. Я бы хотела поехать в Японию поесть морепродукты. Конфета. Candy. Конфета. My friend eats a lot of candies. Моя подружка ест много конфет. Моя подружка ест много конфет. And we're done with food. I'm sure there are many other words, but not everything at once. So let's see you some other exciting random words for the future. See you later. Пока -пока. I have a new mustache. <laughs> Привет! Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katusha. Today we're going to talk about some special words we prepared for you today. But personally, I don't know which one. So let's find out. 
The topic will be school supplies. Школьные принадлежности. I have to get some more school supplies for September. Мне нужно приобрести больше школьных принадлежностей на сентябрь. Let's find out the first word of school supplies. Wow, and it's карандаш. Pencil. I think there is like Swiss company who does a uh, карандаш. Like literally their company is called карандаш. So maybe this is where we got the word from. I don't know who copied who again. I gave my uh, pencil to my friend. Я отдал свой карандаш другу. Я отдал свой карандаш другу. The next word is клей. Glue. Клей. I forgot to bring glue from home. Я забыл принести клей из дому. Я забыл принести клей из дому. Рюкзак. Рюкзак. Backpack. There is a hole in my backpack. В моем рюкзаке дырка. В моем рюкзаке дырка. Тетрадь. Notebook. Тетрадь. My mom got me some new notebooks. Моя мама купила мне новые тетради. Моя мама купила мне новые тетради. Маркер. 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 So same word, but we just just uh, we just 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 <laughs> say R, R. So you can hear it. Маркер. I always carry with me colorful markers. Я всегда с собой ношу разноцветные маркеры. And the next word is... Unfortunately, this is the end to school supplies. I hope you're ready for school. And maybe you can repeat these words and remember it and use it for your friends, even if they don't understand what you're talking about. I'll see you some other time. Пока-пока!